Hey guys, my Jeffrey's here, and welcome to episode 46 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Um, I'm going to jump back into the new screen, and Payne's work permit application has been turned down again. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think there's other teams that are interested in him, so I might let one of them sign him, and then at a future date when his work permit gets cleared up and things, I'll try and bring him in. Um, other areas of the club... Tom Naylor coming in from Wickham. He's a centre-back, so we were a bit short of centre-backs last season, um, which is why we ended up signing David Stevens, of course. So that's not a bad one. I might let that one happen. might let him come in. Um, I'm just looking at other players who are available on free transfers. Tom Lawrence, who apparently is pretty good at the moment for real. He scored twice the other day. Both of them really good for Carlisle, I believe. Uh... Ryan Mason, I think Spurs rings a bell with him. Check that one out, actually. Is he from Spurs? He is from Spurs. Ah, Swindon, yes, that's where I know him from. Um, Christian Cabellos, he's from Arsenal, I think. Damian Martinez is definitely from Arsenal. Uh, what are these saying? Future free agent, right, that's what that means. Um... Yeah, there's no one really on there that, that that stands out apart from Payne, but I can't sign him. So, yeah, there's no one really who, who jumps out as, oh, I really must sign them. And there's no one really on the loan list either who I think is better than a player that we've already got. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to let Naylor come in and then just let the rest of it run its course. Um, the reason I started this episode now anyway is because we've got our very first match in the scroll premiere coming up. So uh I've got a scouting update for players I have no interest in. Jimmy Myler starts on a coaching course, cool cool cool. Pain failure, yeah, already know that. Benicophobie's trial has finished. I was gonna bring him in, but then I got Barnard instead, so I don't really need a phobie now. So he can walk off, he can find another team and be successful there. Uh our bid for Naylor was rejected. So let's try, if I offer 100% of his wages for, let's say, five months, because that takes up to January. Uh, are there any other clauses I can put in? I don't think there are. And yeah, they're not even going to negotiate that, because they don't want him to go out on loan. So, that's annoying. Oh well. Here we go, though. First match of the new season. We've got Tamworth at home. Uh, I'm just having to look see what other big teams there are in this league. We've got teams like Boreham Wood, who I, th yeah, they came up with us from last season. Uh, you remember I said about Boreham Wood before. Uh, AFC Wimbledon have come down. Kidderminster, Plymouth have come down. Uh, <coughs> Barnet, of course. David Stevens, I'm sure he's looking forward to going back there. Uh, Luton, Gateshead, Forest Green. You know, they're, they're all in reality. They're all pretty decent sides. They've all given Stevenage, when I've seen them play, they've all given them good matches. So, uh, it be interesting to see what happens when we come up against them. Okay, first game of the season. Let's start from a blank canvas. King is definitely injured, so he won't be available. I'm going to have to put O'Brien in goal, and then Quintarka as the first substitute. I'm very much looking forward to joining the Football League, just so I can name seven subs because five subs to me is just it's not enough when you've got a big squad it's not enough when you've got a little squad uh, it's just about right really so I suppose for these circumstances you don't tend to have big squads in these leagues so it's perfect but for me it's a bit frustrating um, yeah, where was it? Stevens on the right uh, Cartwright on the left it's good to see their squad numbers coming in now as well um, Delamond right centre mid <coughs> Uh, should I do Ip Dip Do or should I just randomly choose one? I think McGregor. Yeah, McGregor seems to be the best one for that position. Uh, Beck hold down the left, of course. Do I go for Crino or do I go for somebody else? Do you know what? I want to see Luke James have a go down the right. And then the obvious choice of. Well, it was going to be Bobo, but he's injured, of course, isn't he? He's out for a little while, so let's go for Francois in the hole, and then Barnard up top. And we'll see how that goes. And then we've already got Quintarka on the bench, so we'll have Klopmus, we'll have Robinson, 
we'll have uh, let's go for Marshall no let's go for Thompson and then let's go for Drew Snow oh god let's swap Thompson no yeah Thompson because he can play midfield centre midfield as well and then we'll have Wilson we'll have Peter Wilson okay that is our first squad for the new season. It took a while, guys. Sorry about that. I was a bit... I couldn't make my mind up. Um, so, yeah, we'll have Lee Barnard as number 9. And then we'll have Luke James as number 27. That's That does me. That's all right. Yep, don't show that again. There we go. Here comes the first match of the new season. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this with all the squad rebuilding that's been going on as well. Uh... And just seeing them with actual squad numbers as well that you've assigned to them rather than stupid ones like number 9 on the left and number, I think it's number 10 or number 11 up top. It's ridiculous numbers. Um, just seeing them with squad numbers that you've given them, it gives that whole professional feel to it. And it just makes things look so much better. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of players motivated. Who listened passionately? Jean-Francois. How do you listen passionately to something? And Delamond as well. That's ugh. <laughs> a changing room full of men. That's a bit weird. But yeah, kick off. And of course, we are playing at White Hart Lane for the time being because of this stadium expansion that's going on at Welling Garden, which is, of course, where Majeffrey's United are based. Um, <coughs> just waiting for something exciting to happen now, really. <coughs> I'm resisting the urge to rant again about how much I hate the system of why do I have to ground share at White Hart Lane? Why couldn't I ground share at Stevenage? Because, you know, they're five minutes up the road. Why do I have to go all the way down into North London just to find a stadium that this game thinks is big enough to support my team? When, in reality, I'm only going to have an attendance of about 5,000. So, it's always going to be unrealistic. And I hate unrealism on this game. I know I've sort of crossed the threshold a couple of times in this series, but not to the point where I'm playing in a, a 40,000 capacity stadium when I'm only in the non-league still. Uh, half time and it's still nil-nil. We didn't really see anything happen in that match at all so far, did we? <coughs> Let's hope the second half's a bit more exciting. And we, we see a little more than just the kickoff. We need to get at them. I don't think we've attacked enough. We've only had three shots and only one of them has been on target. And even though we've dominated possession, you really want to see more shots get in. Because while it's still nil-nil, they can still win the game as well. Right, Barnard. He's given it away. And that's worrying. Cartwright, is he going to win it back? He has. Yep, he has. Uh, Via, he's lumped it forward. That was... Yeah, that pass was unnecessary, I think. There was loads of other options. That's Barnard. This is looking better. That's a good ball for James. Luke James. Good save. Oh, almost came back through for Beckhold, I believe. Um, that's pretty good defending from Tamworth, I suppose. I've seen worse. I've seen better, but I've also seen worse. <sighs> 55 minutes, 56 minutes gone, and we've only really seen one shot from our team, which isn't good enough in lots of respects for many different reasons <coughs> so subs let's take a quick look at the bench we've got Thompson and we've got Wilson who can come on uh, McGregor is not having the best game so I might bring Thompson on for him and then do I bring Wilson on for Barnard I think I do you know Wilson on for Barnard you know, it's a slightly disappointing debut from Barnard. He seemed to do well in pre-season, but again, it, with his age and that, he, it could take him a couple of weeks longer than the rest to sort of get used to it. So I'm not writing him off just yet. Um, I, I imagine he'll be starting our next match as well. Uh, I'm willing to give him chances, basically, because I know how good a goal scorer he can be once he gets his foot in. So, yeah, he's, he, he'll have another chance. That's an interesting ball from Thompson, but he has picked out James. James should cross it here. He has, and it came to Francois, and there's a melee, and it hasn't gone in. 
I don't know how that didn't go in. There was about three of them standing over it. Any of them could have shot through that gap. But oh well. Uh, v has picked up a bit of a knock, but he doesn't. In fact, he's the most. F well, is he the most fit, or is he the fittest uh, of our defenders? So that's not a problem. Cartwright's looking a bit shaky out there. Uh, Cartwright's looking very shaky out there. But we are basically at the end of the match now, so I might as well let this one run out. A nil-nil draw. Even if it's the first game of the season, is is disappointing. Um, you expect more, really. I'm not going to dawdle on this one. I'm just going to go straight back into the uh, new screen. Yeah, oh, I'll stop it here, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, hopefully in the next match we'll do better and we'll, we'll pick up results and we'll try and get a, a, our first win in this league under our belts. So in the meantime, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button above, below, left, right, wherever it be today. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, then thank you very much, guys, for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.